if you want to paint snow, uh, it's it's like if you want to paint anything, you you use your eyes. So I recommend you get out and have a look at it because it changes from minute to minute. Here I'm in a whiteout and I can't see much. So what I'm doing is sketching in the framework, ready for the light. So I'm, I'm pausing and just filming what's happening here while I'm waiting for the uh, blowtorch to arrive. You need the blowtorch to, to dry the paint, otherwise it just slips around on the surface of the canvas. I expected the, the snow shower to last for a couple of minutes. It lasted for about 40 minutes. And then it cleared up. I knew it would. I, I'd, I'd looked at the satellite picture, so I anticipated this light coming through and tried to get as much framework down onto the canvas ready for the, the light to come into the picture. Unfortunately, I, I didn't cover... I covered the canvas, but I didn't cover my gear. And it, 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 all my tubes of paint were buried under the snow on the bench there. And uh, the, the snow had stuck to the surface and then just run down. Made it more interesting, really. But the, the brightest thing that we have in our uh, arsenal of paint is white. It's a struggle, but the, you, you can't really prescribe how to do it. Just, just trust your eyes and, and look at it. The one with the abandoned car in the middle is the second sketch of the day. And the, this is the first sketch.